What's up everybody and welcome to Dad Got This. What are we doing today? Today, we're getting into eggs. I love my Instant Pot. It's an amazing rice cooker. It's probably the best rice cooker I've ever owned. One of the second things, one of the second. English, number one forte. The second thing that it completely excels at, in my opinion, hard boiled eggs. I love me some hard boiled eggs. So many uses. You got soft boiled, you got hard boiled, you got deviled eggs, you got, you got egg salad. Just so much you can do with the good old egg. I went through a phase where I loved eating hard boiled eggs and the problem was they never peeled right. I tried every trick in the book, baking soda, cornstarch, whatever it is you add to the water, vinegar, all these things. They were always a pain to peel. Bought my Instant Pot, used my Instant Pot. Something about the steaming of the egg and the way it works, perfectly peeled eggs like every time. I love this thing. But there's a lot of confusion about, you know, what's the, what times, what to do, how do you get this yolk, that yolk. So I'm gonna show you three versions of eggs, like a soft boiled, a medium boiled, and a really hard boiled. Three different times, three different things, but all really easy. Let's get into the egg. Get in the egg? I don't think so. Do you think I can throw this up in the air and catch it? and then not have it explode and destroy my kitchen without looking. Ooh. That, I mean, it's not really that impressive. It's just catching something I threw in the air. When I make my hard boiled eggs in the Instant Pot, I normally use my trivet. My trivet has handles. This is just makes it easy to lift in and out. But the thing you wanna know about when you're making your hard boiled eggs in this thing is you don't want the eggs sitting in water. You want them sitting above water so they're being pressure steamed. So you take this, you're gonna sit it inside there, and we're gonna place our eggs on top of the trivet, put a cup of water underneath it, pick our time, and we're done. Now, I've also seen people who will use the little silicone egg mold and just stick the eggs in there. I haven't tried that, maybe I will but you could also do that. I just sit them on the little rack and everything works out perfect. We're gonna use the same process for all three versions of the eggs. We're gonna cook them, we're gonna quick release them, and then we're gonna shock them in ice water. That seems to be the best method for me and I get the best results on my egg. So the first egg we're gonna do is like a semi soft boiled egg. For this, it's literally one minute, quick release, and then like three minutes or four minutes in an ice bath. We need one cup of water right into the Instant Pot. Make sure you put your pot in there. See so many people who pour the water directly in here and be like, oh my God, what did I do? Did I just ruin my pot? Probably did. But we're gonna put one cup of water and then stick your eggs in there. As many eggs as you can fit, doesn't matter. I'm just doing one because this is a test. One egg. Just make sure that it is kind of like, you know, sitting on the rack above the water. Lid. Always make sure that you're not on venting. You are in the middle on sealing. All right, we're gonna set this to manual and one minute. It's not one minute. It's gonna take it probably like 10 minutes or so to come up to pressure. And then after it comes up to pressure, It'll cook for one minute, it'll beep, and we gotta get here quick because we wanna make sure we quick release it fast. We're going for soft on this. While we're waiting for this to come up to pressure, we're gonna go ahead and get our ice for our ice bath. Instant Pot just beeped, so it's hot. I'm gonna stand back a little bit and wait. Come on, ride the train, ride it on. No, no, that was bad. That was really bad. I use a tong to get them out. They're hot. Now we're gonna drop them in that ice bath for about three minutes. You can go up to five if you want. There's our timer. Three minutes is up. 
Okay, I peel my eggs under cold running water. Now with this one, since it is a soft boiled egg, you have to be gentle, it wasn't gentle. Okay, now a one minute egg is a soft boiled egg, so. Okay, you get a runny yolk and a perfectly cooked white. A runny yolk egg is like literally one of my favorite things. So throw a little salt on it. Mm. Little bit of extra time in the ice bath probably wouldn't have hurt this to just firm it up a little bit so that it wouldn't have broken when I cracked it, but oh. Mm. That is delicious. Yes, I'm a Star Wars nerd. Yes, that is a Stormtrooper salt shaker. These are the easiest peeling eggs you will ever do. You just pull the shell off, it's so simple. And that's it, a perfectly peeled egg. Let's go ahead and cut this egg open so you guys can see what the three minute egg looks like. So as you can see, there's just a hair of underdone yolk um, but the rest is all perfect to the point where you could pop the yolk out if you wanted. I like the three minute because it's like just soft enough, but it's like, unless I'm doing over like a toast or like a, something I'm trying to use, like almost a poached style egg, I'll do that one minute egg and use that with that runny yolk. But if I'm just eating hard boiled eggs right out of the cooker, three minutes. cooked yolk all the way through. These are perfect for deviled eggs. I love these fresh out of the cooker. Mm. That's it. Instant Pot soft to hard boiled eggs. Aside from using my Instant Pot at a rice cooker, eggs is my second favorite thing to do in them. I love it, it's easy, everything works. I'm gonna make a couple more of these to, uh, maybe I'll make up some deviled eggs for the next recipe. And that's it. I didn't even ask him to, I didn't even ask him to subscribe yet. I think what she's trying to say, I look at my analytics and like over 50% of you guys who are watching my videos aren't subscribed. Come on, why aren't you subscribed? This is amazing stuff. Do you wanna make the kiddo sad? You don't want to make her sad. Show them the sad face. You don't want that face. So if you don't want that face, what do they need to do? Click the like button and subscribe to this video or else you will get a mad and sad face. Yes, we don't want that. And Ellie, what doesn't dad do? Dad doesn't do an episode. That's it. That's it. Got me on that one, like a little ninja.